Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to fix time syncing issues on Android. Now by default, most phones use their carrier service to keep in sync with local time, but this doesn't always work. In fact, carrier time syncing has a lot of issues. For instance, if you're outside a cell service range, you're going to have some issues. And then a lot of times, carriers will have technical difficulties in your area, resulting in your phone being minutes or even hours out of sync. Well, this is where the root app clock sync comes into play. Instead of using your carrier to keep track of time, it forces your phone to sync with atomic time from ntp.org. Your phone will still need a network connection to sync its time in the future, but that was already the case with carrier time sync anyway. In this way, you don't have to be connected to your carrier at all, just to the internet. So either Wi-Fi or mobile data will work. Then you'll of course need to be rooted to get this one going, and some of you may already be aware of ClockSync because the app has been around a while. But just recently, it received a major update for compatibility with new Android versions, so it's definitely worth looking into again. To get started, search ClockSync on the Google Play Store and get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial to skip straight to the download page. Then, when you first launch the app, you'll probably already see that your system time is at least a couple of seconds out of sync with atomic time. Either way, start by tapping the three dot menu button, then heading to the settings entry. From here, you can set your own custom time server if you want to, but that's not a requirement. Instead, just make sure to tick this enable box under automatic synchronization. From here, there are some extra options for controlling how your clock will be synced in the future, but most folks should be fine with leaving them all set as they are. Beneath that, there's a section for automatically detecting your time zone, which is a cool one. So I'd suggest enabling the first option here. With that stuff taken care of though, you're just about ready to go. So head back out to ClockSync's main menu, then tap the three dot menu button and choose Sync. At this point, ClockSync will ask for root privileges. So tap Allow on the super user access request. Once you've taken care of that though, you'll see that your system time is now perfectly in sync with atomic time. And since you set it to sync automatically, it'll always stay perfectly in sync as long as you have any type of internet connection. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.